Action! What's up, guys? So today we uh, ran to self-made. So we're going to like get a sick back and bicep workout. Sure. But we're thinking about talking about some of our best back workouts that we used to build our backs. But in particular, um, I think this is going to be a good special like video because Nathan, um, in his opinion, his body part that he needs to work on the absolute most is his lats. Lats. Like, bro, this guy's got like literally a perfect physique. Project you step Turtle on show, stage, man. dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you decide you want to do classic, even if you do men's, bro, like all you got to do is like build those lats yeah. wide, and I feel like your physique is like perfectly proportional. Yeah. Like. It's the last step, man. Yeah. This yeah. guy's physique is crazy. Back has probably been one of my strengths for like the longest amount of time. And uh, also back then when I had some coaches teach me, um, one of my coaches specialized in back and his lats were just ab absolutely enormous. And so they kind of showed me like a bunch of like special back and lat exercises that I could use to honestly, you don't, you can't change your insertions, but back when my lats were smaller, you know, it would look like it came up higher on my body, on my torso, but he kind of showed me these exercises that seem to engage your entire lat to the point where like your insertion begins, yeah. that when your lat grows in size, not only does it grow in width, but it also it's seems, yeah, it, it yeah. seems to grow almost downwards along your body as well, and kind of completes the whole V taper, like hourglass look. So I'll just show you guys some of those exercises that we're gonna hit today. Man, how's that landed? It's still <laughs> my fibula still hurts. I bet, man. Shit's still fucked. It's always the landing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's getting better though. Yeah. One effective way that I've noticed to like bring up one of your weakest body parts is doing uh, high frequency training and potentially using DUP, which is daily undulating periodization, to fit that high frequency of training into yeah. one week. Yeah. Right, so just load it up. Yeah, so he's doing back three times a week, like kind of like a power ish day, more tailored for a bodybuilder though than a power lifter. So, like a power strength and then a hypertrophy day. So, three different rep ranges for three different days, allowing you to focus on slow twitch versus fast twitch fibers within the same week. Pretty effective. Yeah, this is working. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm out of breath, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we did some more of the injectable. Did you do injectable me Not today. Not today? No. Dude, I love that shit. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> it pumps off the chart, man. I got this dope ass like supplement from my uh, HRT clinic, and it's injectable aminos, and it's carnitine, arginine, and glutamine, and the shit just like you just inject it right before your workout, and it just pumps you the fuck up. Like. It makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like energy boost, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Plus, it's supposed to help with like focusing on your fat storages for for energy. So oh, that's pretty dope. Stay shredded. Yeah. The nitric oxide, pump one. Is there scuba rays? That's the most annoying thing. Wait, is there? There's no scuba. No way, really? Yes. <laughs> no way. Just free ball it. Uh, no way. Are you serious? Oh god damn. Unless it's like in there, in there. So I was just mm -hmm. Young kid. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I took fucking two scoops of three gym. It wasn't even phased. I'm like, you're about to have a heart attack, dog. <laughs> two scoops. I didn't even realize it did. I'm like, you know how much caffeine? Two scoops of 300 yeah. per scoop? Yeah, yeah. Two bags. I'm like very flat. Soft? Soft, yeah. No. I like wanted to get back on diet for just a little bit. Because I feel... Dude, 
I'm surprised yeah, are you I'm anything right eight? now. I'm not tier two. You just, yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. I'm surprised, yeah. man. I'm only tier eight. I'm like tier nine. Tier nine. Ethan and I both just like cruised the TRT dosages like a week ago yeah. or so. Yeah. 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 Honestly, dude, the biggest hurdle is just the oil. Dude, it's so good, yeah, huh? The oil, man. Yeah. 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 Especially good for you, because because you like have such a high tolerance to things. Yeah. Yeah. It's good volume. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's kind of like the whole of Primo, honestly. Because uh -huh. it's so benign, but it's a lot of oil. You know? Because if you're trying to get like 600 milligrams of oil, yeah. that's 100 milligrams per milliliter. Yeah. Yeah. Such a low density. Yeah. I wish it was like a topical cream. Put that on and just absorb. That'd be dope. <laughs> so nice, I think my first favorite exercise that I like doing for lats. It's not like the exercise I'll do first when I'm like working out, but it's literally just like my favorite lat exercise is the single arm, straight arm, lat pull down. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit hits me. It's like where you turn yeah. and you like crunch to the, mo to the movement. It's good. One, yeah. So normally I just tie the rope like this. And then maybe put it around like 60 pounds or so. And then um, the whole movement is just stretching out your lat and turning so that your lat is completely stretched. And then as you come down, you crunch into the movement, crunch your torso on the upper end of your the upper end of your torso into the movement, and then touch the rope to your like mid thigh. Nathan says that uh, he tends to have issues like engaging his lats. He tends to engage more of his like lower traps, mid back, rhomboids, rear delts, and like his forearms more because he's very used to doing like pulling motions. We're trying to just focus more on him like engaging his actual lat during the exercise, which I think he's getting a hold of pretty well. He's getting a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Because before I could even like do this movement properly. Right. Right. It shows like, I think it shows most when you do like lat pull downs. I think, was it lat pull downs maybe? Because you, you like pulled out like this way instead of instead of overextending and then pulling down your arms. Yeah, and being able to pinch my scapula to something that I was struggling with. Yeah. 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 Just getting the, the mind muscle connection. Really. Yeah. It's super important. Right. For me, it's just forms yeah. and then my traps, and my biceps just want to take the Yeah, all that kind of yeah. It's getting better though. Yeah, I think it's getting a lot better for sure. Okay, so next exercise that I learned from like some of my coaches back then was it was like a row where you engage more of your lats than you engage like your traps and your rear delts. So basically you lean forward and then you tilt your elbows in and then row like this. And that way it engages more of your lower lat rather than you coming up and engaging your tricep or not your tricep, your rear delt. So I grab at about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit further, come out. And the most important part is while you're leaning forward is to, to externally rotate your arms, not internally, but externally rotate your arms so your elbows are pinched in the front and then you row with your elbows pinched the entire time. Yeah, if you want to hit more traps, if you want to hit more back thickness, more rear delts, come out, bring your arms further, and then just elbows out the entire time. But if you're trying to hit lats, always externally rotate, always pinch the elbows in. Third exercise is going to be a variation of the lat pull down, where instead of having a grip out here and then 
pulling it outwards like this, like a lot of people do. We're gonna do a more narrow grip, probably about shoulder width, and then pinch our elbows together, stretch, and then row back like that. Stretch, and then row back, and then hyperextend, and bring our back out as we're rowing backwards. So then we can engage the bottom of the lat too. Nurses love that. I know. Uh, so the fourth one, single arm lap pull down from the side. Like that. With the crunch. Okay. Something I just remembered too, that a lot of people will have a tendency to do, is that they'll have a tendency to want to, um, as they come down, they'll want to curl their arm inwards, because doing so engages more, it, it engages more of your bicep, it engages more of like your delts, and it's like easier, but I think in order for you to continue engagement of your lat, it's good to continuously keep externally rotating your arm the entire way to force that lat engagement rather than engaging other muscle parts. It's always been a problem for me to grow my lats. It's always my lower lats. So being able to get that little crunch, it does wonders. For me, my forearms take over every time. When I'm pulling down, it's all forearms. Just little things like that where you get that crunch. Isolation really helps. Trying to change up your range of motion. Helps a ton to build that back up. Bro, you tossed me, dude. <laughs> no way. This is this is all for show, dude. <laughs> All for sure. Everyone's like, oh, you're Asian, you can fight no, there's no way. I was in martial arts when I was a kid. I know like I know like blocks and like how to like the form of throwing a punch. Yeah. But there's no, like I don't know how to fight, dude. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Dude, I, went to, I don't have experience. I went to this place White Dragon one time. It's like a big dojo, like a generic gym. They told you to block a punch, you go like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. In what world am I ever gonna like block a punch no, like that? No, like yeah, like you're fight. supposed to like know yeah, you're just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I did kickbox for a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, sick. I don't have flexibility. Nice little body right now. Yeah. I've always wanted to learn jiu-jitsu. thought about going with Clark to jiu-jitsu, but... Clark's great in jiu -jitsu. Yeah. Yeah. Our buddy, Chris Clark, has been in jiu-jitsu for years, but... It's a piece. Behind the scenes of taking a selfie. <laughs> Did you even go to the gym if you didn't, you know, take a picture? So next exercise is the single arm lat pull down, uh, but this one's basically kneeling and coming out like this. And I think, I think where this exercise really shines is that a lot of people don't realize that one motion uh, that engages the lats is not just bringing down the arm, but also crunching the upper, the crunching the torso. Imagine like actual functional ways of using your lat, how like we would use it, you know, outside of being in the gym. For example, like you're climbing something, like you're rock climbing. When you're rock climbing, you don't do lat pull downs. Like you climb with each arm. And when you climb, you want to reach for something else. So in doing so, you're climbing like a spider. You literally crack, I don't even know if spiders do that. I'm thinking about Spider-Man. <laughs> like a monkey. Yeah, yeah monkey. You, you actually crunch your torso in order to you know grab further and engage your lat. And so in doing so, I think crunching your torso helps you engage the entire lat and further create that full development. I wish there was like more science to this, but 
I mean, it's kind of difficult. I created like a, a, a YouTube video a long time ago about like mechanics and like lats and your muscle fibers and I kind of went into a little depth with some research that I did. I don't really know how true it is, there's no research on it, but if you follow the way that the muscle fiber runs, then you can see that certain movements will engage like your lower lat a little bit more than you know others. Yeah. Last and final workout, last and final exercise, exercise five, we're going to hit single arm cable rows, but in this single arm cable row, we'll kneel on the ground and lean forward. That way, instead of leaning back and engaging your rear delts and your upper traps and your lower traps, you're engaging a little bit more of your lats, and then you're allowing for a full stretch, and then a full contraction. Shred them lats up, baby. Like all the other exercises, I feel like on this one, it's pretty important to keep your arm externally rotated again. So even when you're coming down here, like I think it's gonna be easy for people to come out and just continue rowing all the way back. But if you keep it totally externally rotated as much as you can, you're gonna reach a point where you kind of like run into your lat and you kind of run into your waist and then you just have to stop right there. And that's kind of where the end of the engagement for your lat goes. Anyways. We've been like complaining the entire time about the volume because like I didn't want to get like the video copyrighted. <laughs> and Nathan goes and picks up this remote. He's like, bro, I think that's the phone. In my head, dude, it was slowly going down. I'm like, oh my God, this is the remote. It's like click. I wish, bro. All right, just press mute real quick, record. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the workout. That's the top five exercises that I guess we would say to engage our lats. Yeah, I mean, pump those puppies. We don't know everything, <laughs> but that's just some of the exercises that I've used, and I've had some um, pretty amazing bodybuilding coaches teach me. Yeah, and I feel like it's worked because I feel like my lats are one of my strengths. I'm not really sure about that, but I think so. So, <laughs> yeah. hey, it's a close one, man. It's yeah, to yeah. the turtle show and not having turtle show. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking slap, bro. No. This shit's nuts. Well, thanks, dude. I yeah. appreciate that. That shit put my back up for sure, dude. That's a yeah. Good dude, fucking. Your back's thick as fuck. It's getting me, dude. Fucking Jesus Christ, dude. I feel like I don't know anyone else that's more. I kind of. I want to tell them your age. <laughs> that would flip people off, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not the, we'll keep it a secret. <laughs> He's actually 30, 32. Yeah. I'm his dad, actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, but that's our that's our five exercises. The supplements we use, EHP Labs, pretty sick. I like to drink them and stuff. But if you guys want to check out the clothing that we like to wear a lot, like these shorts and stuff, that's from Young LA. And you guys can use code Nile for an extra 15% off. And then our HRT clinic is uh, Transcend, which hooks us up with a bunch of cool shit like the injectable aminos. You know, our uh, TRT that we run every week, testosterone. Uh, just like a lot of different things. This cool ass Botox cream that I've been using. <laughs> pretty down. Let's go. <laughs> Stay pretty. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, I got, I'm getting my blood work done this Thursday just to keep checking up on my biomarkers, make sure everything's okay and I'm being healthy. Um, you guys can sign up and check out what they're about by clicking the link below in the, in the description. Yeah, and then I think uh, that's about it. And then I think right now we're gonna go run to Kava and like get out like a post workout meal and then just talk about like how we like intuitively try to fit our macros when we're eating out. Yeah. So, yeah. Same. Kava, baby. Let's go. Just kidding, guys. So, Kava's actually gonna be on another video uh, coming up next. And then we'll just explain macros, what we're choosing to eat just how we want to eat based off of like what our goals are. Yeah, yeah it'll yeah. be in the next video. Yeah, we can be a little more inclusive too, some more information. Fill it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Peace.